Okay, so Go Live is up and going. We have now accessed our web account, and it is time to take a look at Go Live's user interface so that we kind of have a general idea of where we are and what we're going to be doing. Rob, go ahead and show us what you got. All right. Um, well, the first thing you'll notice about Go Live is that, like Photoshop, it has lots and lots and lots of buttons. Uh, in addition to buttons, it has lots of palettes. Mm -hmm. And so they've tried to organize it as best they can. But there's still a lot to go over, so let's let's take a look at what's under the menu. Okay. Uh, under our file menu, we have our very common things, new, save, close, export, import. We'll be using the import uh, shortly here. Uh, and exit. That's an important one. And exit, yeah. <laughs> uh, under edit, uh, you have your, your standard copy-paste uh, operations in addition. Your selection options. Right. You have your s spell checker, which is nice to have. Oh, yeah. You can set the settings for your for your web okay. and your general preferences and keyboard shortcuts. If you want to make new keyboard shortcuts, you can. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so under type, we have all kinds of things for formatting your type as you're uh, laying out your pages. Mm -hmm. You can set your font, size, style, all these things. Okay. Uh, we'll be using that quite a bit. Well, not so much the, the menu, but we'll be using uh, all those things. Yeah. A lot of these things that we'll see in these menus are accessible elsewhere in the user interface. So exactly. We won't really be digging into the menus that much. Right. Pretty much all of this stuff is going to be over here in this Under toolbar. Under the palette. special menu? Right. Or up here on this toolbar. Okay. At the, at the, up here. So um, The special uh, menu, I guess, then, is just pretty much a variety of tools you're going to be right, using. Right. Gotcha. Uh, under site, we have all the things that relate to your site. Uh, you can create a new one if you want to. Uh, you can update the current one you have. Uh if you were using the version control, you would use it here. Mm -hmm. um, you can set your set your server if you want to change it to a, move to a different server. Um, okay. Okay. Under diagram, diagram is something that we're not going to be using. But if you were making a really large website, you could uh, create a new diagram, and uh, it would be like a flow chart. And so you would have uh, connections to to other pages. You can just randomly throw them out there and just sort of get a good idea of how your large, super large site would look. Oh, nice. Okay. Under movie, uh, we won't be using movie, but this is all about QuickTime, and um, it has a really powerful movie editor. Cool. Under view, uh, we have your basic view functions showing your grids and guides and rulers, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we can show the source, which is something we'll be getting into later. Okay. The source meaning the actual HTML code? The actual HTML code. Cool. Um, under window, uh, we have settings for all all your ta all your uh, your tabbed uh, panels. palettes panels palettes, yeah. palettes panels that's what they're called something like that <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, and so you can turn those all on and off here okay um, very handy and you can even save your workspace if you if you have just the right uh, combination that you want to, to keep you can save it. As Which own. is great, like if you're on a dual yeah. monitor system and you've set up this nice, you know, array of windows on Definitely. one side. Especially if you accidentally close some things and you want to get those back like you had them, sure. you can just instantly go to there. That's cool. Yeah, and of course, help menu, which is help. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> you you put hopefully, that, yes, you put that succinctly. Hopefully you can get help. <laughs> <laughs> so up here in our toolbar, uh, we can uh, create new folders. This is all related to our site because right. what we have active right now is our site window. And this toolbar itself is essentially going to be a series of button-like shortcuts that give you access to things that were already available up in the menus. Right. This replicates a lot of the stuff that's in the menus. Um, so uh, in addition to all the things, th this is something we'll use a lot, refresh view. Mm -hmm. um, well, go ahead and just kind of start on the left and give us a general idea. Of what okay. We got. Uh, well, you can create a new folder mm -hmm. if you wanted to create a new folder here uh, just to give yourself some structure, kind of like in Photoshop where we are... Uh, creating folders for the layers. Sure. You can create lo uh, folders for uh, all your files. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that let's out. Let's delete that. Uh, you can create new files, so new pages. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be doing that. You can trash them, uh, get information about them. Um, I'm not sure. what the, I think it's for renaming. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. That's all fine. Right. Uh, this will find certain particular assets. You want to find very particular things begins with. Oh, nice. uh, whether the name, the URL, yeah. very particular uh, errors or CSS information, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty handy. And this is the refresh view like we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, this will connect to your server. So um, when you click this button, it will log in to your server over here. Now you see, notice it's changed. Now it says empty. So we have actually connected to our web account at this right. point. We have an active FTP connection right now. Uh, and we can transfer our files up to that server just by clicking this button here. I can click Upload modif Modified Files. We get the Upload and, window. Right. And uh, click OK. 
and give it a second. And there it is. And there you go. And there it is. So you now have this published on the website. So if you go to your web account, uh, you will see this file, which at the moment is blank. So what we have in those two uh, panes on there is on the left, we have the local version. On the right, right. we have the published uh, right. website. This version. is your hard drive. This is your website. Cool. Okay. So let's disconnect from that since right. we're not using it. Um, we can update files. These are kind of extra things. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if we click on here and we click on the, this is the in outs links palette, it will show you every single file that has a link to that file that you've selected. I gotcha. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Um, we have other navigation views uh, and settings dialogues. Sure. Okay. Um, that's not something we're going to be using. But if you have multiple documents open, you can select it in here. Okay. Um, Preview and browsers is something important. We're going to go ahead and add Firefox, uh, which we had talked about earlier. Okay. Um, and let's add it to our list of browsers. So let's click Add. And we'll go to C, colon, slash, program files, slash, Mozilla. Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox, yeah. slash, Firefox.exe. Let's open that. What this will allow us to do, it will add it, add Firefox to our menu up here, so that when we, nice. yeah, whenever we want to check um, whether it's going to work in in Firefox or any other browser, mm -hmm. we can just pull it down from this from this list here. Nice. Yeah, and you want to do that fairly often as you're developing a page. And make sure you don't break something. Exactly. And so these other things really relate to group. Or group functions, such as if you were working with a large in a large company and there were other people who had checked files out uh, off the server, I got that you. kind of thing. And these two things are Adobe related, and we won't be getting into that. All right, that's fine. Okay, so um, we have our basic. Uh, these are two files that it that it comes with mm -hmm. when you install uh, when you set up your website. The index file. Um, is your home page. Okay. You cannot rename it to home page. It must stay index. Right. That's, that's, a, that's a standard on the Internet. Right. That's a, that's a Internet standard. Uh, that's because uh, when you type in uh, yourwebsite.com, uh, the web browser will look for index.htm or HTML. Gotcha. Okay. So we have to keep that as it is. Um, Adobe uh, go ahead, went ahead and gave us a folder called CSS mm -hmm. just to keep things neat. And in it, it put a basic CSS file, and we'll be using this uh, shortly. All right. Uh, but in addition to what we've looked at, I wanted to go over this real quickly. Um, in, this is in your site window. We have the files. We have external files. Okay. Uh, colors. And, and some of these things we, we won't be dealing with. Uh, we'll be dealing with the CSS files. Right. And over here, uh, the only one I really wanted to show you was the extras uh, which has lots of little code snippets. Oh, cool. We, we, we probably won't be using these features. Right. But, but if you're interested, they're there. Something cool to check out. Right. Gotcha. And uh, if there are any link errors in your site mm -hmm. that, that GoLive finds, it will list them right here. Okay, cool. All right. So I think uh, that's where we want to start. All and, right. Um, uh, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and just take a, a quick look over here at the uh, right. tool palette. This tool palette here. Uh, let me open a page. All it's right. going to be blank. But at least gives access to the tool palette. Sure. Okay, so uh, this is your standard editing tool, just like it says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so any any time you have a table or a layer or text, mm -hmm. it, you can edit it with this guy. And edit whatever you're looking at. And this at. is just for object selection. I gotcha. So you can select it with this, edit it with this. Um, you can you can draw a text box with this guy. Mm -hmm. Your eyedropper, hand tool, these are standard. Sure, things we've already seen tools, in Photoshop. Right, in Photoshop. Yeah. Very similar. Uh, good thing about going with Adobe is that they have lots of standard tools. Lots of consistency. Right. And so in here, we actually have a drop down menu. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll be using the basic tab pretty okay. much exclusively. Um, but there are other elements in here that Adobe has added. Uh, there's a smart palette for adding. Um, for working with other Adobe programs mainly. Ah, things um, like Acrobat and whatnot. Right, Acrobat and Illustrator. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a CSS palette for doing some CSS layout if you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole form palette that has lots of, if you're going to create um, a form, like if you're going to ask uh, for 
Like they have to fill in information. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like what's your first username, name, last name? Yeah, yeah, you can do it right here. Very it's cool. got all the standard buttons. Nice. Um, this is a head tab. Uh, in your document, let's look in the HTML document real quickly. Oh, wow. Now we're looking <laughs> at code. I'm yeah. scared. Right. This is important to know, too. Um, this is the your basic layout mode. It will look pretty much like your web page looks in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can also get straight to the source. Uh, which it's generated from. Okay. And uh, this is your basic HTML document. And we're going to be talking about HTML a little bit later. Right. Um, so this is the default, and we can change this. Okay. Um, up here, so there's the layers. If you were going to use frames in your site, you, you could do that here. Mm -hmm. You could add it in here. Um, Adobe also provides a cool little layout <laughs> tool where you can look at it kind of a nested Sure, kind of see the hierarchy of your site. Right, see the hierarchy and, and skip to places. It's, it's really nice. Sure. Um, here we have a preview. So in layout mode, uh, when you drop things on the page, you'll get borders and, and you'll get little information to help you edit the page. Mm -hmm. When you click on preview, it shows it just like a web page. Okay, so that's, that makes sense. That's, so you can go back and forth real quick. You want to preview using, using your uh, other browsers too, mm -hmm. uh, but this is real quick. Okay. Um, now, a PDF preview is not something we'll be getting into. Sure, because we're not really worried about making a PDF document. Right, right. Okay. And so um, there are some other properties up here. There's your page properties, which when you click on it, I'll be keeping Ooh. this inspector tab open uh, pretty much the whole time because it shows whatever you have, what, whatever it is that you're working on, it will have information sure, related the to it. The inspector is kind of like a Swiss Army knife window. That's right. I mean, it's like no matter what you have clicked, it's probably got some kind of information on it. Right. Therefore, the information inside of it is going to change a lot depending on whatever it is you have selected. Right, exactly. So this fellow here is a DHTML timeline editor. We won't be getting into that. Wow. But... It has a timeline that would allow you to animate things over the page. You can, like, have things move around, and um, if you were into that kind of thing, it, you could do it That's right there. It's pretty fancy. It's pretty fancy. Uh, it has its own JavaScript editor. Mm -hmm. It has all the bells and whistles. Uh, it will check your code for errors. And we won't be getting into JavaScript. Yeah, not, this. not this time. Not. That's a little heavy for kind of an intro to web design. Right. right. What we will be getting into is the CSS editor. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can go ahead and... There are lots of places to edit the CSS, but when you click on it, you'll get to this palette here. Okay, and we'll be talking about the CSS editor right. a little bit later once we actually get into CSS. We exactly. just kind of wanted to show you one of the ways that you can access it. Right. And so there's there's your palette there, mm -hmm. and you can uh, make it go away at any time, too. Cool. All right. And uh, so in, over here, we have our inspector palette, uh, a view palette, which we probably won't be using that much. Mm -hmm. um, and the inspector palette will change as we were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, it's going to change a lot while we work. Right. Um, we have your colors and swatches. So if you were to keep a color palette, it would be in here. Mm -hmm. Or if you just want to use your eyedropper and, or choose a, a color from a color wheel, you can do that here. So we also, in addition to that other CSS window. what did you just window, do right there? You, oh, right. Like you minimize? Right. This has this minimize expand ah, feature. very cool. It so works yeah, for any of these for those tabs. Buttons. Yep. So you're free to do that at any time. Gotcha. Just to help you keep your your whole system nice and neat. Mm -hmm. um, the CSS tab will show you all your, you can have multiple CSS style sheets. Okay. So it'll list them here. Very cool. Um, and we'll have additional things that we'll be getting into. Sure. As we go along. Now, I know this was a lot to take in, folks. So, I mean, if you didn't get every single thing that Rob was talking about as far as the user interface of GoLive, don't worry about it. Yeah. Because as we go through this, we're going to be telling you exactly what we click on and why. So right. you still got a long ways to go. <laughs> and we'll uh, be getting into getting into it in depth. Right. So uh, as we go along, you're going to be picking things up while we work. So this is just kind of a way to kind of plant the seeds, if you will, so that later on as we work through this, you'll go, oh, yeah, I remember when they clicked on that so, you know, several videos back. Now, before we go ahead and close this video out, why don't we take our index page and mm -hmm. right. add something to it and turn it into a test page that we can publish on the Internet? Okay. Uh, let's open it up. All you have to do is double-click it. It's just like the files on your hard drive. Sure. And we'll, we we'll just type... Hello, 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 <laughs> hello, world. Hello, world. Wow. Okay. It's like being in programming class. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So well, now what? Well, we just save it just like you would any other document. Okay. Hit set. Hit yes. Now it's giving me a little warning here. Mm -hmm. it, it's asking me if I want to change the title of the page. Um, ah, let's go ahead and change. Let's it. go ahead and change it to uh, you know logging. 
And I'll change it again shortly. Yeah. Okay, set. Okay, now we can connect to our server, connect mm-hmm. to publish server. And then we click on the update modify files. And notice it's, it's only asking to update this one file. Excellent, because it found that that's the only one that's changed. Exactly. Nice. So click OK. Mm-hmm. Give it a second. Give it a second. And that now if, if you go to that spot on, on 3D Buzz, uh, you will get it. All right, well, let's, let's actually go check it out. Okay. We have uh, our browser that we added in earlier. Which hold, hold Holding it. the button down. Yeah. Zach is new to go live. <laughs> and let's see. We selected Firefox. I believe it's on its way. Okay, yeah. We just have to remember with all the, the recording equipment going, it can take a few seconds to load in the browser. And if it doesn't work, we'll use Internet we'll Explorer. We'll just use Internet Explorer if we have to. I'll just I'll send the signal again, so probably the computer's just getting a little frustrated with me. Well, let's go ahead, because I'm impatient. We'll click on IE and just see what happens. So here's Internet Explorer. I'm sure Firefox is on the way, and it'll probably come up while I'm doing this. But let's go to web.3dbuzz.com, and we'll say forward slash logging and press enter. Oh, we we left out one element here. What did we leave out? You have to put in the tilde. Uh, oh, yeah, a little tilde. squiggly. Yeah. No, uh, was it, was that's it, okay. Oh, a tilde, right? We're all allowed uh, typos every now and then. It's right. just a little squiggly above your tilde key, so you hit shift, tilde, and there right. you go. Important to know. And let's press enter, and there we go. Hello we world. have Hello World, and there's the title of the page logging up at the top. So that was published. We are live on the internet. We've gone live. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> with Go Live. Yeah. So that is going to wrap it up for this video, and uh, in the next video, we're going to take a deeper look at starting to put our site together. Okay. Thanks a lot.